Could the explosion in sexually explicit entertainment, movies, television, children's culture, pornography, erotica, hold a dark and ancient secret? Could there actually be at work an ancient spirit and could we identify it? This is Jonathan Kahn. The Return of the Gods is the mystery revealed in the latest book that I've written. And it is revealing what is happening in the world, what's happening in America, what's happening to your life, people you love, and where it's going, and why, and what, what do you need to know to prevail. And we're giving you a little taste of it, of what's revealed in the book in fullness. Now, when Israel turned away from God, what happened is this spirit came in that is called the Enchantress, or in the Bible, Ashtorah, or in Babylon, Ishtar. The spirit of unbridled sexuality. And it's the spirit of a prostitute. She's a prostitute goddess. So in the 1960s, as we turned away from God, America and the West, the same spirit came in and we witnessed the sexual revolution and which has not stopped to this day. The return of the prostitute or harlot goddess. In Mesopotamia, the word for prostitute or one of the words for prostitute is actually Ishtaru, which it comes from Ishtar, literally. That's how much she was identified with prostitution. She was the patroness, the patron goddess of prostitutes. She was also called a harem too, which also means prostitute. In Greece, they used, of course, the Greek language. And so her incarnation was Aphrodite. It's the same goddess. They called her a prostitute too. But the word in Greek for prostitute, listen, is porne, from which we get the word porn and pornography. The word in Greek for writings is the word graphos. The word for prostitute is porne. So you have graphos porne or porne graphis. Pornography means the writings of the prostitute. The work, you know, actually the work of Ishtar. It's no accident. The first pornographic writings on our planet, planet Earth, were the writings about this ancient goddess Ishtar or Inanna. Pornography comes from her. Even the imagery in ancient Mesopotamia, she multiplied the images of naked women. You know, their images of her were of her often disrobing. It was pornographic. So it's no accident that as America turned away from God, there came an explosion of pornography, the, the work of the goddess. We also call it erotica, the eroticization of America. The word comes from eros, Greek, eros. In, in Greece, eros wasn't just a word, it was a principality, it was a god. It was a child that was born of a mother. The mother of eros was the goddess, the enchantress. Think about that. So she gives birth to erotica and she gives birth to porne, porn. She's the seductress. She seduces a nation. You know, through this, all the gods that have returned, their mission is to turn a Christian or Judeo-Christian civilization into a pagan one. Well, she does it through the realm of sexuality, redirecting sexuality out of the marriage covenant, out of family, and away from biblical values to paganism. So she uses pornography to seduce a nation and seduce people. So pornography is linked to this. And remember who she is. The God behind the gods is the word, is the word daimonia. Even the Greeks use that of their gods, which is de, means demonic. Pornography is demonic. And this is what happens when you take God out. When you empty your culture of God, as, as Jesus said, the spirits, the demonic, they come in. And so the absence of God brings this. What's the answer to pornography? the presence of God in your life. This is just a taste of the mystery revealed in the return of the gods, the latest book I've written, which is the mystery of everything, what you need to know, what is happening, why it's happening, and how to prevail, where it's going, what the future is going to hold, and how to survive and prevail. Not only it's available everywhere, not just for you, but also get it for people in your life who need to know. Now, this is what we're going to reveal in the next message. We're going to reveal the third and darkest of the dark trinity. Hit subscribe so you don't miss it. This is Jonathan Kahn. I'll see you next time with the mystery of the destroyer.
parents sacrifice their children on altars to the gods. This is the most pagan of acts. You know, the gods cause people, even those who worship them, to destroy themselves, destroy the fruit of their lives. 